number one, I think Jason Wilmes is, is he does have good boxing. You know, I think he I think he does have a good jab. He has a great inside inside leg kick. He he tears people up with that, and he has a good overhand right. Um, other than that, I think Jason Wilmes, you know, he's. He's going. He's going. He's going to. He's going to find out who I am. I mean, you know, simple and plain. Um, I've studied him a lot. I've seen a ton of tape on him, and um, he's a tough character. He comes forward. He doesn't stop. You know. Um, you know. I see. I see some mistakes that he makes a lot. I know shots that he doesn't like to take in there, and I see where, where he wears down. But it'll be a good fight as long as I do my homework like I normally do, and I keep my hands up and I move and I, you know, just own that ring that night. I don't see him touching me. If you're a fighter, you're a fighter. You know, if you're good at something, you're good at something. No one can take that away from you, you know? So, and that's been my mentality the whole time. I think just, you know, a lot of people tell you you have to be respectful and, you know, the, the media and the people outside don't, can't take that kind of confidence in, in, a, in a hard dose. You have, to, you have to feed it to them little by little. You know, if you come off too cocky, people don't like you. People like to see you kind of you know, baby it, and you know, for, for whatever reasons, I, I, sometimes I do it, but you know, I, I feel like I'm not being myself. Absolutely, I think John Jones is, uh, is a great guy. I think he is a student of the game. Um, you know, when John first came out, I thought he had terrible hands. I didn't know how he was winning his fights, but one thing, I, one thing that I had to sit back and, rely, and, and really look at John and see, what does he do? He does things nobody else did. John was doing the spinning elbow. John was doing, you know, flying knees. John was doing weird takedowns, kicking side kicks to the knee. He did basically what, you know, he's someone that I do admire. You know, he did techniques at a young time in his career, what no one else was doing. And actually, I watch a lot of John Jones and I always try to uh, affiliate myself or my fights with John Jones' career. You know, like he got a shot at the title young. He, he was in there with guys that he was supposed to lose to. And how did John handle it? You know, I, I, I read all the interviews. Like, you know, when, when he was going up against, you know, he's a bag of nerves before he fights. You know, like I heard uh, Greg Jackson talk about how this guy is like the most nervous guy in the back. And then when he comes out, you can tell he's, he's, he's letting it out and he's facing his fears. You know, I'm, I'm the same way. I'm, I'll never lie to people. I, you know, sometimes the nerves get you and the, the naysayers get in your head and you got to focus through. So, you know, I don't just watch the fights. I watch the demeanors of guys. You know, I, I watch the backstory. How do they handle this? you know how do they overcome certain attributes and certain certain uh, obstacles and you know John is a great guy I think um, I think he 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 is fighting who he is really and but that's only because of popularity and the UFC really trying to market him better you know that that goes on a whole nother level John John wants to talk shit John wants you to know that he's the man he knows he's the man but again the public can't take that from a guy because they feel like he's so young he's too cocky people don't you know people you got to believe in yourself and you can't knock someone for believe if you don't believe in yourself the way that another man or a woman believes in themselves you can't dislike that person you got, you just got to find that niche that's yours because they found something that they truly are good at or great at and if you haven't found what you're great at you you can't understand what they're feeling the high that they're on or that confidence that they're that they're showing that that bravado you know like people think it's cockiness but it's it's just a person that's found their true calling and you know that's I just want to motivate people to find that true call and I hope people don't really see me as just a cocky guy, Mr. Know-it-all or Mr. He feels like he's the man at such an early age. I know it's a fight. I can lose at any time. But if I do my homework and I stay dedicated and if I believe that I am natural, I don't think I'm going to lose. I think Jason Wilmes is a great, great guy to go up against. He's been against Levin, Levin you know. If, if Levin couldn't knock him out and I can knock him out, or if I can, you know, put on a great show against, against Jason Wilmes and, and really, like, dominate him the way that Levin dominated him, I think it speaks, speaks volumes for, for, re, for a matchup between me and Levin. The homework process for me starts from me. I look at myself first. What would my opponent look at? What habits have I done in the last couple fights? Then I go, then I try to put myself in, in my opponent's coach's mind. What are they looking for? Okay, if I understand their coach, I understand the fighter because most fighters try to emulate their coach. So I try to see what, you know, I try to look at the coach, see how the coach is. Is the coach aggressive? Is the coach open-minded? You know, it, it's, it's kind of weird, you know, like guys, a lot of guys won't understand what I'm saying and, I, and it's not like, a, like I'm giving away a secret. If you don't understand it, you don't understand it. And I can explain it to a ton of people, but maybe only 3% of people can actually do it. But, you know, I, I try to get into the mind of the coach because when you understand the coach, you do understand the fighter. And then I, then I look at the fighter. And then, I, then I see where he's trying to change. 
you know, I've seen that Jason's trying to do some new things in the, in the in the contender tournament. I saw that he tried to do some different things against Artem, and then I saw how repetitive he was in in his fights pre previously to that. And then I see his coach, what his coach yells out in the corner, how his coach reacts to him when he's getting hurt or when he's you know when he's doing damage. So you know, I've I've picked up I picked up a lot. I feel like you know I'm, I'm I've always been good at reading people. I don't know what it is. I can't explain it. I know how to read people. You know, I just want to keep doing more for the sport, just more for myself and more for, you know, just the creativity. Like, not, only thing that really, really excites me is, is for someone that doesn't know me that watches me fight and say, wow, I've never seen that. I, I need to do something like that. I think American kickboxing was always good. I just think the guys in Europe just didn't know that. Uh, you know, we don't have a big platform as, as they do, and we don't fight as much as they do in, in, in Europe. But. You know, I think what they what they doubted and what they what they forgot was that America is not a bunch of roses. You know, I, I don't know what everyone else thinks. This is a, a, a hard, hard country. You know, like you, you have to work for everything you have, and people work hard here, and uh, and it's rough. We don't laugh a lot. We don't we don't take vacations and sip wine and you know, no pun intended. But you know, that's not our culture. We are not a culture that that has time to smell the roses. We are always nose down work hard we don't care about anybody you know anything else we, we we're just grinders and that's really what they're they're, they're going to run into is that we are grinders yes you guys are great at kickboxing yes you guys drill like crazy yes you guys you know can take you know can hit hard but there's something about that demeanor in americans that we we have that that it that that anger that 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 that's something that you know other countries have more of a laid-back approach to certain things and a, and a happier persona and we don't really have that.